Hey everyone, it's me Barney, and welcome to part 3, the final part. And, it's kind of getting late, I want to make this quick, but I'll still go into some in-depth detail about this. So anyway guys, let's get to it. So where we left off is from right here. So yeah, we're going to the Mauser C96. This was, I think, I think it's a German machine pistol, or German pistol. That could be automatic if you have the attachments for it. I think, I think so. I think without the attachments and stuff like that, it's just a semi-automatic pistol. So yeah. It does have, it does have some pretty short ammo, but yeah. Let's go to the MG34 now. So yeah, I, I, I forgot what country the MG34 is from. But yeah, so I think it may be um, American. But I forgot, so I'm sorry. So yeah, guys. So yeah, guys, that's pretty cool. Things. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, it's a pretty powerful machine. Gun. So yeah, now let's take a look at the MG42. This weapon is a German machine gun. So yeah. It's actually automatic, but it's kind of loud. It's really laggy. So yeah, let's go to the mouse and then get how we say it. This is called the mouse. So the mouse is a Russian rifle. Uh, a Russian um, bolt action rifle. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, it's a powerful rifle. The like Comrade Dog, if you've ever seen that meme, and the real Russian, like Soviet Union from the real war, he used to kill lots of Germans with it, so yeah. So that's a scope horn, we don't want to take a look at the scope horns, because they're pretty much like the crossbow that comes in the game. But they have regular bullets instead of bolts. So here we got the MP40, it is a German submachine gun, and um... It's automatic. I think it could have some different types of firing, like burst and stuff. If you have the right attachments or if you modify it, I don't think it's really modifying that kind of. I, don't, I, don't, I doubt it was really that kind of thing. I think they probably were, but it was really special, like mechanics and stuff like that. So yeah. In order to look at the MP41, and I can't tell what weapon this is. Might be um, Russian or German. I can't tell. So I'm sorry if I miss anything. Else. So yeah, it's automatic, probably the same as the MP40, a different thing, MP40, at least two MPs, might not be German, so yeah, the Mausen, the, the Nagant, the Nagant, the, the Nag, the Nagant, Nagant, the Nagant revolver, so yeah, so it's a, um, like kind of, um, it's a revolver, so that's why you do that little thing on the back. I think I don't think all revolvers do that. But yeah. So yeah, guys, here's a pretty um, popular German weapon called the Panzerfaust or Panzer Panzerfaust or whatever you want to call it. It fires a missile or an explosive. So yeah, I own this prop now. Look at this. I just conquered this building. <laughs> yeah, the Panzerschreck is another explosive rocket German launcher. So yeah. And now I own that building too. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, the Piat is another um, missile launcher. So yeah, those are all the missile launchers mostly. And so the PPS-43, I think this is a Russian Either right, I think, it might, I think it might be an SMG. I'm not sure if it's Russian, but it might be Russian. But it's pretty cool. So yeah, 
probably not as popular as some other weapons used by the uh, used by some of the countries and stuff in World War Two. So yeah. Anyway, so here is the PPSH-41, a classic Russian Soviet weapon. It can either have a um, regular mag, it's like a, looks kind of like a banana mag, if you know what that is. It's kind of a mag that has a round part. It's kind of like, look up banana mag or something on a gun or something, and you'll see what it looks like. Anyway, so, um, and this is the extended mag or the drum mag. It was a really powerful weapon, I'm pretty sure. I think it really is. The spade is a shavor military kind of thing. Could have been used to dig things and must have been used by by some soldiers who didn't have ammo. So the Springfield So yeah, here's the Springfield. So this is a this is a um American sniper. Um for some reason there's not the uh, the regular one without scope is not here. Oh, thanks. Stupid sticky keys again. Let's just close it right now. Oh, shut up. Stupid sticky keys. Crap. I don't think it's really talking. But anyway. So, yeah. We got a dagger. Again, we're not going to take too much of a close look at the knives. Might be the World War II knives. But, yeah. But this is the Sten, which is a, uh, like... Like a British, pretty much British, and I guess probably French resistance. Probably just a French weapon. It's like a, it's like I think the Waffle or whatever it's called, and I think the Type 100 or something like that. See, so yeah, there's a silenced version. Just silenced version. I think they put this rag over it or something like that to give it better power and stuff. So yeah, I think the French resistance did that to stop it from overheating and gave it more fire power. So this is the STG-44, the Sturm Gewehr, however you say it. Gewehr. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's kind of racist. I, I think I do have some German ancestry, so yeah. It's still pretty racist, though. Especially in the world we live in today. It's a... It's pretty much the AK 47's ancestor. So, yeah, it's actually true. I think it was. But, okay, you can see its resemblance to the AK, which was made a few years later after the war. The SVT, I think it is a Russian or German. I think it's Russian. Right, have you, I've seen this in probably real life, I think. And I've also seen it in video games and movies. And so, yeah, it's a nice rifle. But. Like some of these in like the movies and stuff, they might exaggerate their power, but yeah. I'm pretty sure it was still a powerful rifle that many soldiers used and probably saved or probably even destroyed lives with. So yeah. This is the version of the Thompson that has a different kind of reloading and stuff. It has it's like you know those like nineteen thirties gangsters? Like the gangsters from like early like late like in um the nineteen twenties and thirties and probably just throughout the nineteen hundreds. They used these from the nineteen twenties. It's kind of stupid, but yeah. Well, this weapon was actually used by many brave men, probably especially like sergeants and high-ranking people. I think a few privates used it if they had access to more of these drum mags. So the Torkev, or whatever it's called, I think it's a Russian semi-automatic pistol. <laughs> It's really laggy for some reason, yeah. The Nambu, or whatever it's called, is a um, Japanese weapon. Japanese pistol. The Arasaka is a Japanese bolt action rifle. The Walter P38 is a uh, regular cinnamon automatic pistol. The Wall Rod, as I'll show you, is a like French resistance. Like, weird silence type pistol. And finally, the Winchester. Which is a shotgun. Hey, so yeah, guys, this was the weapons pack. It's a really nice pack, and I really recommend you get this. It's free, of course, like all Gmod mods or add ons. Just go to the first part and look at the link in the description below, and you'll find it.
and also the second one for the map. So yeah guys, stay tuned for more, and bye.